Hey guys, it's Ray over at Sahara Coins. Uh, we've talked about cleaning coins a lot. We talked about how to spot clean coins. We've talked about how not to clean your coins. Why? Why do we talk about it? There's actually history behind coin cleaning. Um, back in the day, there, there's actually a publication that still comes out, um, and it's called Coin World. Uh, some of the earlier issues, if you're able to get your hands on them, it's pretty interesting when you start going through them. They used to sell polishing cloths. You could actually buy them in there. It was $1.50 a cloth. Um, and they would tell you how to polish your coins. So in early numismatics, polished coins weren't necessarily looked at as damaged coins. So granted, if you were to take a wire brush to it, it's damaged, but polished coins had a little more leeway back then where you didn't have to worry about, well, I've, I've wiped it or I've cleaned it. And it was looked at differently. So as time's gone on and the grading scale was put into place, there's been a little bit of leniency depending on your coin. So when you have old type coins, like Seated Liberty, you know, quarters or halves, um, sometimes an early cleaning, which is what we'd call it, meaning it was cleaned a long time ago and the patina has actually gone over the cleaning, um, they're, they're pretty lenient with that. They don't necessarily mark it as a clean coin. Um, just like anything else in history, when it comes to when they tell you not to do something, and then eventually they're like, hey, you should really start doing that. It's really more prevalent with like food. You were told not to eat things with fats, and then they said, no, you need fats. And then they said, don't eat sugar, eat sugar, eat sugar replacement. It's the same thing in coins. Things change over time. So now we do tell you, do not clean your coins. If you take a polishing cloth to your coins, you're polishing your money away. So you wanna really, really, really treat your coins with care. Um, hold them by the edges. There's a saying that every coin has three sides. The obverse, which is the front, the reverse, which is the back, and the edge, which is the side. So you wanna always hold it by the sides, not on the obverse or the reverse, because you can put thumbprints, fingerprints, um, and your oils from your fingers will get on them, and over time, it can cause the toning that's not really attractive, uh, that can tend to, to push people away from your coins. So uh, just a quick little tidbit of the cleaning history that we wanted to share with you guys and, and understand that maybe an older coin that maybe looks like it has an old cleaning, um, don't, don't dismiss it as being you know, not valuable. Um, you know, bring it somewhere like our store, bring it into us. We'll take a look at it for you. We'll let you know if it's worth certifying uh, or getting rid of and we'll make an offer on the coin for you. So again, you have any questions, uh, feel free to get in touch with us, give us a call, send us an email, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.